Here's a diagram of the right lower extremity with the superficial femoral vein, superficial femoral artery. Notice the three bifurcations here, profunda vein, profunda artery, and greater saphenous vein. We're going to find those to help find the common femoral vein. So transverse here, put the probe down, you'll find these two vein, these two vessels, and work your way up, you'll find the profunda vein, and then you'll find the profunda artery, and then the bifurcation of the greater saphenous vein. Everything above that is the common femoral vein. Now if you put the probe down and you'll, you may see this, a vein all, all by itself, that is the uh, greater saphenous vein, SFV. Uh, you can compress it, it kind of looks like this, maybe a little rounded on the edges, but you know that's the, the SFV, or, uh, GSV. Uh, now, what we want to find though is the artery and vein out by themselves here. You can compress and verify that this is, there's a vein there uh, and that the other one's an artery. Transverse, continuing up, you'll find you'll come in contact with a bifurcation of the profunda. Let's see a little bulge down there at the bottom. That's good. Continuing to go superficial or um, superior, you'll come in contact with the, the profunda adding into the artery. That's good. Just uh, continuing on up and you'll find the bifurcation there of the greater saphenous vein. Now it may look just like a little hump like this or it may be kind of like fishtailed kind of like this. That's good. This is the um, SFJ, uh, superficial femoral junction. That's, that's a good compression point but the radiologist knows exactly where you're at there. Go up a little further and to where you don't see the bifurcation anymore and you'll go back to seeing just these two veins. The one on the right, that's your common femoral vein. This is what we're looking for. This is where you do the compressions now and then do the color flow in the second part.